Okay, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. I've uh, used these uh, cyclone dust separators for a little while. I'm pretty happy with them. And uh, we're just going to talk about how they work and how to build them. So, anyway, I just have my regular shop back. That's hooked in, goes all the way along here, it comes out through the top. So, that's the input to the back. Now, the input to the cyclone is on the side here. And you just use these uh, plumbing couplers, okay? And that goes over top of your uh, central vac pipe that you put inside. And then you'll need another one of these tubes for your shop vac. Okay, so another hose for your shop vac. And that would just go right up to your saw or your plane or, or you know, whatever else you might have. So, it's really simple to make. It's made out of uh, 16 by 16 MDF. I use 3 quarter inch. Then we have some valley flashing, which I've cut to 5 inches wide. Now I've put it all together with uh, staples and PL Premium. And then, of course, we have some more central vac pipe. And uh, some central vac pipe couplers. Okay, and then you need a bucket. So, they're like a 5 gallon pail. You can get those from any, like a Home Depot or Rona or wherever you might be shopping. Now, what you do is you take your valley flashing, you put in your PL Premium all the way around, stick your valley flashing in, and then uh, staple it all together. Let it dry for a little bit, then take your, uh, your pipe, cut the pipe basically to the same uh, contour. Now you want to cut your pipe out with a bandsaw and make it nice and neat like that, or as neat as possible and then put a little more PL Premium around to hold it all into place and then you'll also use a little chunk of 2x4 drill through it the same width as the plumbing, or the uh, central vac pipe and then put your plumbing coupler on that and it's really easy to just once you set your, your tension on it you can just pull it out and stick it back in okay and that's with both sides so that's this piece okay have that out of the way. Oh, and these are three and a half inch right here, so makes it easy. Now the bottom piece, okay, it's a little over halfway around, and you'll actually set this piece on it like so. If you can see that, basically it sits on it, and you'll just screw it into place when it's all done. So you have your inlet here and it spins around so the dust spins around and then it falls out as it spins so actually I would have this one sitting more like this okay so the dust comes out it starts to fall out of the stream your output comes out here through the top so the dust falls out of the stream and falls through this hole and into the bucket okay which is underneath <coughs> So. Then you have your top piece. Your top piece is just some uh, central vac tubing. There's a small piece here. There's the coupler. There's another small piece, basically a little bit thicker than the MDF here. Okay, and I've wedged it, take that small piece and wedge it in between these two couplers. So just make it long enough so that the couplers can hold it in place. Little PL premium, little glue, and then this other little piece here. It sticks out. It'll stick out about. Let me get my measuring tape, and I'll tell you. It'll stick out about two and three quarters inches, three inches, somewhere in that range. Okay. And then on the top of it, you just have your coupler. Okay. So just the central vac tubing coupler there, and then you put your plumbing coupler on top so you can plug your hoses. Now, so when you're done, what you do is you just set it on top. You don't have to seal it or anything, just in case you have to open it up to clean it out. So just drill four holes, sink your screws in, put your screws in the bottom, and then that's it. You're set, right? Then you plug it in, drop it on your shop vac, or on your bucket, plug in your shop vac, hook it up to your table saw or whatnot and then uh, get to work. Alright, these things are awesome. You'll love them. Uh, everything that I own, okay, right now, is uh, 
It's got like a two inch dust port on it. So I'm going to run two shot backs because quite often there's two places that you want to extract dust from. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to, these are blower vacs. So I'm going to take the output and I'm going to get another hose. That hose I'm going to run out through the wall using some more um, central vac pipe. So I won't have any exhaust in the shop at all. So any dust that I have will either end up in the bucket, in the shop vac, or outside, but not in the shop where you're going to be breathing it in. So it's the cleanest system. It's cleaner than the uh, one micron bags and all that other stuff because none of the exhaust is going into your shop. It's going to leave your shop. All right? So anyway, that's how to make it. I've got some more videos that show, you know, a couple of uh, a couple of designs that I put on that uh, worked and didn't work. So you can have a look at those and uh, I'll have more videos for you coming soon. Thanks a lot.